What a wonderfully blue sky day it is, isn't it, Paul? It's fantastic. The clocks have just gone back it's and fast. we decided it was time for a little catch up episode because you might be seeing some changes in the months ahead because we have got these. These are spy glasses. Now, sometimes when we're filming, it's a bit difficult to actually sort of get good shots of stuff without annoying people. Maybe you don't want them to know that you're recording. Not that we're doing anything wrong, but it just can be a little bit awkward. So with these, we can record on our glasses and we just walk around. Now, most of it might come out sort of upright because it is um, portrait style that it comes out. Now, I can edit bits to make it look landscape, but not all the time will that look um, 100%. So it all depends where you're looking. You have to look very sort of like round like this, carefully, if you want to get good shots like that. But if you're just walking slowly. around slowly, if you're just walking around, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to sort of cut into that. So we're going to just test them out today and we're just going to give you a little look around Oxbridge and see what's going on. So the rest of the episode until the end bit um, is going to be on the glasses. So let's start the show. So we've just left the church behind us and we're walking into the sort of central bit of Oxbridge. Now look, look at this. The first thing to note is over here, Paul. Look, look at this. Wilco. Look what, yes, look what's happening. Wilco is returning to Oxbridge on the 22nd of November. Now it's not the same company as it was before because they went into administration, but the name was bought out and the people who bought the name have opened up some Wilco stores already oh, cool. and I read in the local paper the Uxbridge Gazette that this is the first Wilco to open in the London area so the 22nd of November is going to be a big date. Now that's not the only new store that is coming to Uxbridge isn't that right Paul? Yeah I think that that's right there is another brand it's called Sostrena Grena Yes, or as I, was, I called it, Sostrine Green. <laughs> so it is, is, it, is it Norwegian or is it Danish? Danish. Or It's Danish. So it is going to be located right where the old water stones was in the chimes. The chimes is coming up um, in front of us. Oh, watch out for that car, Paul. Um, we've got the tube station over here, first of all. We've got a sign here for all the stuff in Uxbridge. Oh, and some nice floral stuff, yeah. I think it's fake flowers. Yeah. Um, but what I was going to say about Waterstones is that it closed just before the pandemic. I for it during the pandemic. Uh, no, no, no. It closed just before the pandemic for a refurbishment, and then it never opened again. Mm. Oh, isn't that lovely? We've got some live music in Uxbridge today. So this is the Chimes. It's one of the two shopping centres in Uxbridge, the bigger one and the newer of the two. And Sostrana Grana is going to be right in here, just through the, the doors at the welcome sign next to the Snappy Snaps, because that is where the Waterstones was. So you can see that it's right here. Look, there it is. Sostrana Grana, all over the world. Handel Scumpagna. Where is Paul? There he is. Look at this. Do we know when this is opening? Well, it said autumn. It should be due to open any day now, I would think. Maybe they're going to have it open just before Christmas. Is there information on this sign? Isn't this it? Yeah. Just here. Yeah. This is the bit that's right next to Vodafone. Yeah. So it says that we are delighted to welcome you to the store soon. And it's a fabulous store because we've seen it. Well, you've been in it in Belfast, haven't yeah, you? Uh, that episode's still to come, folks. You haven't seen that yet. <laughs> but you've been to it. Yeah, and it has a lot of um, home products on offer, such as a cutlery, some drink, um, some baking items, some glassware, stuff like that. Yes, uh, well they sell, well you say baking items, uh, pastries, because 
we watch another channel, uh, Mr. Carrington, and he likes to go to the store and he had some pastries in his episode that actually went up this morning, Sunday, as we are filming this. So there's another little bit of information about it over here. So there we are, it says opening soon. Look forward to discovering Sostrena Grana's wide selection of lovely and quirky finds for the home, the kitchen, life's big and small celebrations and for creative moments and much more. And look, Paul, you have just discovered this, right? The grand opening. Anna and Clara look forward to seeing you as we open our doors at 10 a.m. on Friday, the 8th of November. So that is just a couple of weeks away. Wow. And I know that I'm going to be in Uxbridge that day. So I think we're going to have to come in and take a look. Indeed. In fact, we might even do a very quick update episode um, when that opens. So we're going to go through these doors. And in fact, this is sort of the bowels of the old Uxbridge. Mm -hmm. The last little bit that sort of remains. Well, Windsor Street, where we started this. Well, there's music there. We've got to watch out. But um, you think that you can see the other side of it from here? Oh yes, because with water stones you could. Ah. Remember for water stones. Yes. Like have this other entrance. Oh yes. Oh, you can maybe get a little look there. There's not much to see. You can just see some of the empty shelving at the moment. But they are working on it. Oh, hello. There we are. Well, that is definitely something to look forward to on November the 8th, isn't it, Paul? Yes, it is. So this is Uxbridge High Street. And over here we've got the library. Now, it's very controversial at the moment because the council has decided to close down this wonderful building, which is on, I think, how many floors is it? Three or four or something? And they're going to move the services into the council building, which is at the end of the, the road here. Now it's very controversial this because um, there's issues around um, accessibility uh, because it's at the far end of the high street, it's outside of this pedestrianised area. So there's been um, a campaign to try to keep that building open uh, but unfortunately the local council uh, were adamant that they wanted to close it. They say that it's not sustainable. So we're coming up to the council buildings, let's see, Civic Centre. So the library is going to be placed in that building and you can see that accessibility might be a bit of a problem. Uh, there is a ramp over there, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's a main reception and a disabled access only down there, but you can see that rather than being on the high street, um, if you're in a wheelchair, it looks as though you're going to have to go the whole way down here and mm. round the back. Um, and mm. I think that's not a great idea, really. No, I think they go up this bit, I guess. Well, this is even more confusing because you I say they know. go up this bit, but... I don't know. I think I've only been in this building once. No, it's pointing down there, main reception and disabled access only. I don't think it's up that ramp. Which kind of candy do you want? I want it fudge. All right. So I have walked past the Civic Center and I do notice a chai wala. This looks like a um, Asian type of place that serves um, cold drinks and also sweets. I think they also have a Bombay bowl, wala wrap, Bombay toasties, street snacks. It looks like there's quite a bit of space to sit at as well. Maybe another time, I guess. Um, but I think I haven't been down here for quite some time. Wow, look at this, Paul. What? Just before we go <laughs> completely, Wingstop has arrived in Uxbridge. I don't think I know what this is. Well, it's a chicken wing oh, right. sort of takeaway place, fast food. Wow. 
Everything's coming to Oxbridge now. Oh. So what did you think of our glasses? I mean the footage from them, not how they look, although I think we do look a bit like the two Ronnies. Let us know in <laughs> the comments. <laughs> and it's over to you, Ronnie. Well, I think that that completes today's episode. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, there is a link in the description. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.